The Mediated Matter Group is interested in exploring biologically inspired digital design and fabrication. We're interested in looking into nature, uh, looking into its form generation processes, uh, into growth, adaptation, and translating some of these processes into the world of the artificial. Previous design work at the Mediated Matter Group focused on designing products uh, that are inspired by those natural processes. Beast, for example, is a chaise lounge that supports the human body by varying the stiffness ratios of the materials from which it's 3D printed as a function of the load that's introduced to the chaise. While previous work focused on products, current work focuses on processes that are inspired by biological construction, biological form generation, from construction automation to medical augmentation to customized fabrication, we're looking into various applications that are inspired by nature that allow us to make things in radically new and novel ways. One of the fabrication processes we're interested in is 3D printing. Using this robotic arm as a platform, we're investigating many different materials to print with ranging from ABS plastic to concrete. For instance, if we take a milk jug and grind it up, we can print directly with the recycled high-density polyethylene to save material and reduce waste. Looking at concrete, we're investigating density gradients, which is analogous to natural structures such as bone and palm trees. By controlling the density spatially, we can actually use the material more efficiently to create structures which are lighter and stronger. Demonstrated here using different colors, we're also building a 3D printer capable of printing controlled gradients of two or more polymers of different stiffness or elasticity. Variable property polymer printing seeks to mimic the functional gradients found in natural materials, such as skin, where the local elasticity and stiffness varies according to function. Potential product applications include increased fatigue resistance and product lifespans while allowing for a higher level of individual customization. The Digitally Reconfigurable Surface Project is a new concept in digital fabrication and rapid prototyping. It allows for a direct conversion of a computerized design into a physical mold through the actuation of a pin array, like in this toy. A fusible alloy microclutch allows for the rapid parallel actuation of large arrays of pins. This clutch is inexpensive to produce and scalable to very large sizes and high densities. When scaled up, like in this mock-up, envision that the surface could function as a simple topographical output from a computer, or it could be used for many different forming operations such as vacuum forming or casting. For many part geometries, Forming operations on this surface could exceed conventional 3D printing in both speed and cost. With continued development, this technology has potential to make a significant impact on both manufacturing science and personal fabrication. Granular materials, like the glass beads inside here, can be put into a jam state through the application of vacuum pressure. This allows the system stiffness to be controlled. Most people are familiar with this effect in one form or another, from walking on sand at the beach to opening a vacuum-packed container of uh, coffee. We're interested in the design applications and fabrication technologies that jamming can allow. A fun example is this chair, which can rapidly switch between a very flexible state and a rigid state. A more practical example are these morphable vice grips, which can easily hold any complex object without leaving teeth marks. We can also use jamming to replicate parts through casting. We can quickly create a mold, cast a part, and easily demold the produced object using a process with zero waste, mess, and at a very low cost. Here are some examples. For instance, here's a key and it's directly cast We're also looking at jamming on architectural scales, such as floors, walls, and even entire structures that can morph. Together, these projects, when combined, 
form a new design approach, an approach that takes us from the machine age to the biological age, and an approach that would introduce us to a more sustainable future and also a new way of expressing form in that future. Mm -hmm.